My name's Martin Batt. I'm the owner of a 1958 Morris Minor Tourer, which is the convertible model of the car. It's been in the family actually for uh, around about 45 years. I actually bought it back in 1977 for 100 pounds. The car was developed in the late 40s by a designer called Alec Isigonis, who was actually of uh, Greek extraction. He moved to the UK and joined the Morris Motors team under Lord Nuffield and came up with this amazing design. It was revolutionary at the time. What Isigonis was able to do was to bring in superb road holding for the time. So it's a fun car to drive and people found that. It very quickly became a favourite and sold well over a million. The car came into my ownership almost by chance really because I'd just got married and uh, we had nowhere to live. It was my mother who was looking at a posh women's magazine called The Lady and found a um, townhouse in East Grinstead to rent. My wife Mary and I went and had a look at the house which was fine. There was a garage attached. Our uh, future landlady said well problem is this garage has got an old wreck in it. So she opened the door and there was the Morris Miners covered in dust sitting on four flat tyres. Very quickly I said, well I'll take that off your hands, I'll give you £100 for it. And she readily agreed, so that's how we came to own a 1958 Morris Minor convertible. I was earning a living at the time in tourism and my job was conference manager for the resort of Eastbourne and one of my roles was to take conference organisers who were thinking of using the resort and its hotels and I picked them up from the station in this Morris Minor and that always caused quite a lot of interest because people would say well I learnt to drive on one of these or my wife had one of these and while I was working in tourism of course I was commuting every day back down to the coast. I did that for eight years in fact. Occasional breakdowns. The great thing about Morris Miners is they're incredibly simple. When you look under the bonnet you have to struggle to see where the engine actually is because it's so tiny. It's a great little car to work on. I did all the servicing, changed the oil. You had to grease the front trunnions every thousand miles which wouldn't be a great thing to be doing these days but you had to get the grease gun out and grease it in three places otherwise the front wheels would collapse. So surfing as a sport had always appealed to me, but because the South Coast isn't a great surf location, I hadn't had a real opportunity to try it. One year, I think it was 1972, a friend and I went down to Newquay and we hired a, a longboard and had a go on it. And it seemed to be something that I could get into. I seemed to have the ability to balance on it quite quickly and catch waves and so on. Came home absolutely hooked. My brother, who's about five years younger than me, he, he looked at it and thought, I'm gonna take this up. And he's ended up a far better surfer than me, now living in Manly and got there via Jeffreys Bay and Cape Town and so on. Tim moved to Australia. Very quickly, it seemed to be a good idea to go and see what he was doing there. Then the problem came of how are we gonna afford the ticket? We'd had to make about 1,200 quid even then in the mid 80s to buy two tickets. We thought, well, we could actually raise some money by selling the car, selling the Morris Minor and, and get to Australia. Then my father-in-law stepped in, Mary's dad, and uh, he said, well, you can't let that car go out of the family. I'll give, give you a half share in it. Let's uh, give you 500 quid. It must be worth a bit more than 100 pounds now. My father-in-law, Ray, was a real enthusiast for British cars and he loved Morris Miners in particular. I think he'd learned to drive on one. And he decided that he wanted to put some money into it and really restore it. Because it actually was looking a bit scruffy after eight years of commuting. So he found this guy called Ron Wanma. And Ron had become a bit of a specialist in restoring Morris Miners. He just restored a Morris convertible for the TV programme Lovejoy. That featured a sort of antique dealer driving around getting involved in all sorts of scrapes and it became a very very popular Sunday evening program before Bergerac and that sort of thing. We put it in there, Ron did a complete rebuild. My job in tourism didn't really pay very much. I needed to earn some money, so I needed to get a job in banking or finance. That job came with a company car. Then we had three cars, because Mary had uh, what was now a Mark I Golf GTI, and I had this Ford Orion, and really didn't need a Morris Minor convertible, so Ray was in sole charge of it for several years. Finance at the time was pretty shaky, so we were transferred to Yorkshire, miles away, and so we left the Morris Minor in the care of Ray. 
Well, Ray's health wasn't too good. At one point he said to me, well, I think I ought to pass the Morris back to you. So it fell to me to drive the Morris Minor back up to Yorkshire and I had the most horrendous journey I've ever had in it. I remember it rained solidly from Eastbourne to Leeds. So there we were with a lovely dark green Morris Minor in Yorkshire and a, a daughter who thought it was probably the most uncool car that she'd ever seen. So I once went to meet her after school and she was so horrified that she hid in the, in the footwell. But as she grew up a bit, um, started having boyfriends, they would come round and see it there and say, what a cool car that is. And gradually I think she, she warmed to it. I actually used the car for my daughter's wedding. It was a great honor. The wedding itself was uh, quite spectacular. Again, a heavy rain most of the day. I actually drove uh, Nina to the church through a monsoon and it was great fun. Looking back on coming up for 50 years ownership of the car, it's a piece of British motoring history, there's no doubt about that. It's been very low cost, the maintenance is very simple, there's no electronics at all. You can see how it works, um, you, can, you can get at everything really easily, very low cost in fuel usage, uh, about 45 to the gallon, something like that. There's a very active Morris Minor Owners Club, of which I'm a, a member. You still see them around occasionally, but fewer and fewer, um, particularly the convertibles. You'll often see models that look like a convertible, but have, are actually saloons that have been cut down. So it's been lovely to own and run. I think it's going to stay in the family forever now.